Shay Mitchell and her picture perfect family are doing things a bit differently as she revealed she has no plans to marry the father of her daughter Atlas, Matt Babel. Let's get into it. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby and the Fendi baby carriage. That's how the saying goes when it comes to Hollywood, right? Shay Mitchell and Matt Babel are turning this nursery rhyme on its head by scrambling the order, but it seems to be working. The couple fell in love and brought baby Atlas into the world back in October 2019, and they're Life has not been the same since. But if things are going so well, why is marriage off the table? Shay recently opened up to E! News revealing, There's no pressure here, I love it. I love the fact that we come home and every day I'm like, I choose you and you choose me. It keeps us on our toes. She went on to suggest that marriage only complicates things from a legal standpoint, adding, I'm like, hey, I can walk out. I don't need to go through a lawyer. I can just walk out. And same with him, it keeps it sexy. It's definitely gotta be that Aries fire because Lord knows I crave stability. About a month ago, Shay told ET that marriage has never been something she's cared for, though she does love a good wedding. Thank you, pretty little liars, for giving us a little glimpse into what Shay would look like as a bride. And can you imagine how adorable baby Atlas would be as the flower girl? But hey, if Shay and Matt are happy, then we're happy. No matter how famous you are, raising a family is hard work and it can be emotionally taxing. We're also happy that Shay is back to a better place after battling prenatal depression while pregnant with Atlas. She spoke about her experience with the mental illness in which she didn't even know existed before she was diagnosed, telling Today, quote, When I first started speaking out about it, just the influx of women telling me about their personal experiences with it too also helped me feel less alone. Shay added, I had heard so much about postpartum depression, but not so much about prepartum, which is equally as important, just less talked about. She admitted to finding out she had prenatal depression after she gave birth in October 2019, when the doctor handed her a survey asking about her emotions and how she was feeling, saying, I wish they would have given me that during pregnancy. The fact that Shay is so open talking about these taboo topics is genuinely refreshing, especially considering the fact that she and Matt are wonderful parents. So if they want to stay lovers and parents sans marriage, we will support them either way. For details on how Shay faced being a first time mother in the public eye, click right over here for another clever news video. Then hop to the comments and let me know what you think about Shay's thoughts on marriage. As always, I'm your host Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel and I'll see you next time.